hey guys i'm back with another video this is going to be my paycheck number one um, for september 4th and this paycheck is going to run us from september 4th to september 11th and um let's get started i have all of my budgeted amounts written out for uh, what I was getting paid, for my bills, for my cash envelopes, and for my sinking funds. So now I'm just going to fill out the actuals. And then, of course, I'm going to have a cash stuffing at the end. So just keep on watching. So for my paycheck, um, I was budgeting $1,000. I did get $1,108.87. And then I had a rollover of just $167.61. And that gave us a total of $1,276.48. And that's going to be what I start my September budget with. So not only will this be my paycheck one, um, but this is also going to be the start of my September budget. Which I did make a monthly view um, on the previous page, but I didn't share that here. It's just to... Um, keep me on track remember when all my bills are due because for some reason there's at least one that i always forget so i made sure that i wrote them all out just trying to you know really buckle down and keep track of this budget so that i'm not just spending crazy so now i'm just writing out my bills and for the grass it was 64 dollars uh, then for surgical associates, it was ten dollars. The internet came out to be one thirty three seventy three. Loan number two is one sixty seven. My car is three sixty two. And then me and Nick both have a gym membership, which is twenty three ninety three each. So, of course, I'm just going to add all of that up over to the side on my iPad. And that's going to give me a total of $784.59. And so I've decided that if I do have anything additional this month, so I'm just going to go from the 4th to the first paycheck in October and anything that I have extra from then from now to then I'm going to put towards my car because I'm really trying to get that paid off um, so anything I put in cash envelopes if there's anything left over at the end of the month after I've stuffed it from the four paychecks I will put that towards my car payment so now I'm just going to write out my cash envelopes which everything that I budget budgeted is going to be exactly what I put in these envelopes so the actuals are just going to be the same i'm going to write down 20 for gas 60 for groceries 10 for my spend 10 for nick spend nothing for eating out and then 20 dollars for household and that's going to be a total of 120 dollars now i'm just going to move right on over to my sinking funds which i've decided not to just stuff these once a month i'm going to stuff them with every paycheck that way, um, I can kind of spread out the amount that I take out of each check. Um, it kind of just lets the money go a bit further um, between paychecks. Here lately, we've been getting paid every week, so it hasn't been a problem. But if for any reason, um, you know, we actually have to wait two weeks between paychecks, like if me and Nick get paid on the same day for some reason, um, or if my paydays fall on odd days, um, we'll still have... We'll still have those, um, you know, some extra funds, so to speak. Um, so, of course, on the sinking funds, it also I'm also just using using the budgeted amount, and so I've just wrote down the exact totals: eighteen dollars for subscriptions, thirteen for taxes, five for car tags, five for car maintenance, three dollars for the vet. Nick and Char, those envelopes are going to be, um, if we don't use our money that I put into the weekly cash envelopes, then
then that's where we can store those additional funds for anything that we might want or need. I put $13 for gifts and then $13 for vacation. Um, I was supposed to write out the totals to the right of that um, once I actually added them to the envelopes and I did not write those down, so I'll fill those in. Um, I know subscriptions has 158, taxes has 13, car tax has five, maintenance has 25, I believe vet has 18, and then gifts and vacations have 13 each. And now I'm just going to write down the leftover amount, uh, which is $301.89. Um, and I know we've spent some on, you know, some food and things like that. So that's not going to be the actual leftover. But based off of uh, the amount that we started with, that is what was initially left over. So, guys, I really do appreciate you for taking time to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, paycheck number one budget. I'm going to try my best to come in with normal check-ins as well, um, just to keep track of my cash envelopes. Again, like I said, we've been getting paid each week, so it hasn't been much of an issue, and I've been able to um, put money in those each week. But if for any reason there's a longer period between paychecks, I want to be able to have a closer track on that. So you guys, thanks for watching. Be safe, wear your mask, and be blessed. Bye.